which means the place where the church is supposed to be occupying ain't in a building. He did it so that the church could fill heavenly places. <laughs> All right, it's right there, it's right there. See, because if you don't feel it there, you won't be able to manifest it here. This is not the realm in which the work of God was given full authority and majesty over. It was the realm of the spirit. It was in heavenly places. And until you start to occupy there, you have not stepped into the fullness of redemption. Oh, I'm fixing to go deeper, so let's go deeper. Then Ephesians 2, he echoes it again in verse number 5. He says, even when we were dead in trespasses, he made us alive together by grace we are saved and raised us up together and made us sit together. Where? We're in heavenly places in Christ Jesus. So where are you sitting? Oh, my God. Now I understand Colossians 2.15. One more verse, Colossians 2.15, and then I'm just going to, to just run. Demons are trembling right now. I said they're trembling right now. They're saying, please don't tell them that. Don't tell them that. Please don't let them know this revelation. I didn't hear this from the church all this time, which is why we haven't been able to shut him down. They have taught us to beg on earth. Hoping God will come see about us. Colossians 2.15 says, having disarmed, I'm reading out the New King James, principalities and powers, he made a public spectacle of them triumphing over, the, triumphing, excuse me, over them in it. In what? In the resurrection. Whew. Put your hand on your head and say, not today, not today. Not today, which means I don't, you don't need your mind today. You don't need it today. When Jesus came out of the grave, everything that Paul just talked about and what he said in the Colossians church, all of this happened before he picked up his body and appeared on earth. There were some things going on in the realm of the spirit. Way before Jesus picked up his body and came walking back around on the earth realm. Your Bible tells me that there was a lot going on in a realm we can't see. That it is in that realm that Jesus was flexing his muscle. And in order to understand it, you've got to go back to Genesis. You've got to go back that when we come upon this earth filled with chaos, God steps on the scene and starts rearranging it and reordering, reordering the earth and then scoops this thing out of the dust called the man. Breathes into it the breath of life. It becomes a living soul. And the Lord gives humanity one assignment. One. Have dominion. Have dominion was the assignment. Not have church. Not have worship services. Oh, hear me now. Hear me now. No, 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 no. Have dominion was the assignment. Tap yourself. Say, that's why I'm here. 
That's why I'm here. Now, the Bible declares he gave him dominion over the earth realm. Why does he have dominion over the earth? It is because when Satan fell from heaven and God banished him into the earth realm, not to mention all of the things of whether Satan's original throne was here and then he wanted to ascend and God threw him back down or whether some people say, no, he wasn't here, but God threw him here. I don't know how he got here because I wasn't there. But I choose to believe, I choose to believe what the Bible declares is that when he fell like lightning out of heaven and hit this earth realm, that was not just how fast he came, but it was the way he came. That he hit earth with the light out. Which means he was being stripped of every dimension of God that he had. He was stripped of every authority he had. He was stripped of every glory he had. He was stripped and banished to the earth realm, a dead spirit. And was given by God no legal rights to planet earth. God says, I'm going to banish you there, and you have a right to be there, but I'm stripping you of all of your rights while you're there. Which means Satan was in this realm <laughs> because he has a right to be here, but he has no rights here. None. He cannot function in the earth realm. And God says, because I have dispossessed him, I have totally stripped him, you have one assignment as mankind. I want you to have dominion over the earth. God was saying, I want you to enforce my authority over him in the earth realm now this is crucial this is crucial which means uh, adam and eve's authority while they were on the earth listen to this they had dominion over the earth have dominion over it over it over it it doesn't mean you're just lording over the ant or over the horse that's part of it but it also means you're responsible for the covering of making sure no demonic activity is authorized on this planet. That was the assignment. No demonic activity on my planet. I know some of y'all can't shout because you've allowed all kinds of demonic activity in your life, but not after today. None. Don't allow him any expression. Don't give him any access to my planet. Which means Adam had authority in the realm of the spirit. And he had authority on earth. This is why God put spirit in flesh. So that he could be ambidextrous enough to rule in both realms. It was Adam's spirit that God conferred this authority upon. And it was God's will that every spirit being walking around on this planet would occupy an authority over the earth in which Satan could have no expression. So now what is the devil after? Why is he after Adam and Eve? He wants that authority gone. In other words, Satan is after that authority figure in which God has determined that he cannot dispute with. He cannot overrule. Satan has got to find a way to move Adam 
and Eve out the way so that he can now have expression. And let me fast forward. The reason the fall of Adam was so horrible was not that just God lost a man and we fell into sin. That's horrible enough. But he unlocked a realm for satanic activity. Oh, be seated for a second. Let me, let me work on this. You're going to get it. 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 This was about Satan wanting out from under the authority structure of God in the heavens so that he could begin to manifest in the earth his wickedness. He's a fake God with a fake kingdom. 